Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile and since I was away the last weekend this video is going to include uh, both this week and the previous week's news as well. So the first news we got last week has been a thank you by Chris and the whole crew at GGG and if you haven't got your daily dose of feels yet definitely check this post out, you might like it, uh, it's going to be in the description below as usual. Anyway. Starting with the actual news, we got some concept art for monsters in Act 10 and you can see if you play the game you'll definitely recognize these guys and these very weird ones as well. Uh, pretty damn cool and really fucking weird if we are looking at these guys here. But still, we also got uh, pretty much all of the uniques that were discovered so far. There's also all of the Arbinger uh, uniques and you might want to check those out if you're planning on some kind of Arbinger builds and there's also uniques related to uh, the council which is kind of interesting but anyway we also got some wallpapers related to the fall of Ariath and first one is absolutely amazing it's the loading screen wallpaper and I'm definitely using that one the other ones not so good I really dislike when uh, the logo gets like pasted and doesn't fit at all into an image. Last one is but it's the loading screen, the new kind of loading screen, which you can actually skip. I don't know if you know that, but if you click or you press enter or whatever else, you can actually skip this loading if your game is fast enough. So that is pretty good. And it's also a pretty good loading screen as well. We also got a new competition which is going on, it's still ongoing and you have at least four days more to actually try and win something if you care and basically it's about uh, dressing your character and there are two categories, the premium one where you can use all of the microtransactions available and the natural one where you can only use the skin transfers so it's basically full microtransactions against natural look obviously given the name of the categories and there will be 20 winners from each category and there's a, some very nice winning things like sign Path of Exile comic book which is pretty damn cool and also you have a chance of winning like an armor set, an effect set and some other cool stuff. If you want to enter just post a screenshot in the thread which I'll link in the description below of course and yeah you're pretty much done with that it's also very easy to do there's uh, exp there's everything explained on how to do it where to upload things how to actually uh, uh, make it into the post without breaking your image so everything works out you can also make more entries as well if you care so well have fun if you actually care about this kind of competition and uh, another cool news is that the build of the week is returning soon I'm going to expect it's going to be next week so hopefully really soon and we'll have to see GG said they are going to focus less on details and be more pretty much noob friendly so that everyone looking at these builds uh, can actually enjoy the video I expect kind of a backlash from the more elitist community where the builds are definitely not going to be like insta clear speed everything so we'll have to see how that goes uh, it's definitely the times are definitely different from the first season which you got an example here or the sixth season here with with a very nice siege ballista build I mean these are just kind of examples but uh, we'll see how that goes, I don't know if uh, build, the build of the week posts still have a place into the community but we'll have to see how that goes. Anyway we also got some new 3D art which is going to come very soon uh, for the Empire Grasps, Hemophilia looking kind of nice, Repentance, uh, I mean the art itself is not that good I guess that's just how the 2D art as well is and Shackle of the Wretched pretty nice snake bite looking really flat 
but I mean, I mean not too many polygons to be used and Wyrm sign looking really amazing so it's nice to see more 3D art being added into the game so that players will feel even more different not that a problem right now anyway and uh, we also got uh, the patch notes for a very small update which happened yesterday and um, you can see basically it's for the new supported pack the portent and harbinger supported packs there's also a couple of fixes like charger dash now have its intended scaling some heretical words have been removed from the ravage square which i feel I mean, it might be okay for newer player. I still felt like the Ravage Square was really nice to play into, really hard, and actually putting you on the spot to play well. But anyway, uh, there's also the Harbinger improvements. So basically, there's more. Uh, they, sh they should drop more fragments, or even though in less stacks. So overall, the loot will be a bit increased. I don't know if you guys noticed, I definitely noticed the increase in the loot, I'm not sure if everyone likes it, definitely many people on reddit are not liking it anyway, but still there's a lot more players than it actually appears, so GGG definitely knows better, and there's also more changes, basically making the Harbinger more dangerous to players, if you got a good build you probably don't even notice these changes, but anyway. A lot of bug fixes as well which are always good and the two supporter packs you can see just uh, the cup the second one here and uh, well they cost 30 and 60 bucks so they are pretty much affordable by most people and uh, this is the 60 dollar ones with the very look cool looking pet the harbinger effect which is this blue flames over the body the harbinger set which is this kind of age of empires cos cosplay look and the blue harbinger stuff. I always feel like these screenshots looks a lot better than the actual art in game. But I mean, to each their own. If you like these sets, definitely buy into them as you will support the game as well. And the last news, which is pretty big one, but I feel like it has gone a bit under the radar, is the launch of the Xbox version on August 24. So that's definitely something. The game is of course free to play for Xbox users as well and uh, there is already the first blood pack which is a new supporter pack for Xbox granting you cool things to get you started in the game and I mean it's going to follow the same model as the, as the PC one so that is, that is going to be really good and yeah if you have a console, if you have an Xbox one I'll definitely recommend trying the game out. You might even get some of your friends who just play on console into Path of Exile, which would be amazing. But anyway, that was all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Zorzo, and I'll see you guys the next time.